this is Keith Fox, president of McGraw-Hill Construction, and I'm live at the McGraw-Hill Architectural Record 9th Annual Innovation Summit with the theme this year of crossing borders and crossing disciplines. It's a very important meeting for the architectural community because we try to bring together the most current ideas through speakers and panels. It's been a long and wonderful day. You can tell behind me we've got over 400 people, architects, design community, engineers, all collaborating and sharing ideas that started with just an incredible morning and breakout sessions throughout the day. This year we took something a little bit less technological and a little bit more about how architects actually practice. We've seen a big rise in collaboration among disciplines, a blurring of boundaries among architects, artists. So what you're going to now see is some of the highlights from the day. So thank you for being here and I'm, I'm really proud to be part of this. Thank Innovation you. often comes from unexpected places. And architects cannot be just sort of designers of beautiful facades. The architect houses, shelters, all of humanity for whatever they do. And the gifts that we're given as architects is that we have to learn a little bit about a lot of things in order to shelter it. You know, I'm always very pleased with a solution that's beautiful and functional and practical and kind of goes together in a smart way. Design our cities so that they increase life quality and, and human enjoyment. It, it, it's the zoom in and the zoom out, the micro and the macro, that really are fascinating in the design world, at least to me, no? so it keeps you rolling. There's lots of choices for almost everything. Every job generally generates its whole family of new inventions or new products or new things. How to understand what it's like not to understand. But the thing that makes the difference is somehow in the process someone with, um, with a controlling intelligence has to, uh, has to emerge that actually will help orchestrate the players or else you just get cacophony. What is it like when you start any project and you are a blank slate? These synergies that in a way sound almost utopian are simply created from this sort of architectural alchemical idea that by putting different ingredients together you can create if not gold then at least uh, urban quality. I think that the people that work in, our, in my studio are architects who have a inclination to want to be involved in a process right from the very beginning right to the very end. What is it that you can take away to see what's left and what are the patterns that are left in order to build the building? As a Someone trained in architecture, you get very deeply involved in working with manufacturers on a particular part of a building, a particular aspect of a building. This is about change, and it's about the world, and it's about the one thing we can really embrace is change. It's really bringing together some of the leading minds, and not just in architecture, but within the field to improve architecture and building. The conference was great. I thought the panel discussions are awesome. The questions are good and hearing the stories about design firms collaborating. We really had some key, key influencers and designers here. And I think that's extremely important to us because if we invest time and money in, uh, in sponsoring an event, we want to make sure that there are people there that are interested. We're really excited. It's a great group for us to, to talk to. We need to get away from just function into ideas and really see what can, that can do to improve what we do in building and construction. We're talking about um, our, our green footprint as well, how we're reducing our green footprint as a company. That's what we're all about is products that are going to stand the test of time on a building. We've got in front of a lot of key architecture firms and people from those firms. So we've presented a great worthwhile investment. Got the network and meet some good people. And this is a great audience because the, um, the architectural community really has embraced our product since the very beginning. And we had a tremendous number of people that came by our booth to, uh, to have some meaningful discussions and that had actual projects where they said, wow, this is innovative, this could really work well for us. 